Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Draw My Life video just to say a little bit of who I am and what got me here. Just a fair warning, I'm not the best at drawing, which I'm sure everybody probably says that, but I'm really, really bad. I only know how to do little stick figures, basically. So this is me and my little braids. <laughs> I used to always wear braids when I was little because I was my mom's favorite thing to do on my hair. So my name is Samantha, but everybody always calls me Sam. It actually feels a little weird when I introduce myself as Samantha. So I was born on Lima, Peru, 22 years ago. My birthday is on February 9th, 1997, which means that I'm an Aquarius. I really, really love astrology. So I just wanted to make sure you guys knew that. Besides being an Aquarius, I also really love the stars and the moons and just everything that has to do with that. I moved to the United States when I was, I believe I was 12 years old and I was really excited to move because I had always heard so many amazing things about here, but that quickly got me very very sad to leave my family. I was coming with my mom, my little brother, my little brother, who was five years younger than me. And I just didn't want to leave everybody behind. It was a very difficult moment of my life, really. Because I was just so unsure about what was going to happen. I didn't know what was going to await us. We should actually go a little bit back. And some of the things that I really like are art which I have always been obsessed with since I was little. And in art, I loved photography. I actually loved calligraphy. <laughs> and I've also really, really, really liked filmmaking. I've always been very interested in everything filmmaking related. I learned what about filmmaking I really liked until I was way later. I mean, not way later, <laughs> until I was way older, as you can consider a 22 year old to be. Which is when I realized that I really, 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 really like to edit. I love anything that has to do with creating things on my computer because I have always been obsessed with just being a computer since I was little. I feel like everybody when it's younger just used to be like outside, just playing around and you know, just like kicking it with a ball. <laughs> Not a very good interpretation of a ball, but just doing like outside things. And that was not really me. I was more of the inside, just being by myself, very, very happy being by myself, just either reading a book or, I don't know, not really watching TV, but I guess we can say watching TV. But I really, really enjoy being in the computer because ever since I was little, I had a computer in my house. And I would just do all these things. I would go paint and just draw stuff or create things. And I developed a very, very, very big love for just being on my computer. I didn't have internet or anything really interesting. The only thing that I had was paint. And when I got a little bit older, my cousin, my favorite cousin of all time, who I hope watches this video because it will make me really happy. He was five years older than me. Well, he still is, obviously. And his dad used to live in Japan. So he would send all these cool things all the time. And one of those things was a digital camera, which it's not something that we will see like in a regular. It was actually, I think, before they really got popular. 
So he sent us his camera, well, he sent him, and he will stage all these like photo shoots and I don't, I don't really know how to, <laughs> how to draw a photo shoot here, but I just know that we will take like all these selfies before they're really great as selfies. And um, we will put it on the computer and we will do all these like, <laughs> like weird edits. We would soften our skin using um, this program. We would <laughs> like put filters. We would also put like, little stars. Oh no, um, that was around the time we would put this quotes from songs but after that I that was around the time when I actually moved so let's just go back to the very beginning when I started just with a move and I was very 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 sad to move I just didn't want to leave my family and I was very close with everybody I feel like everybody's like dying just Hispanic culture but I was very very sad and I was very 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 terrified of flying I'm sorry for my terrible plane but let's just pretend it looks like that so sad to leave and it actually happened on a February 17 of 2009 my life change and we landed this place called Miami which is where I currently live I don't know what I could draw from Miami besides like palm trees so I moved here and I was miserable I was just not really happy I didn't know the language I only knew Spanish at that time and it's not like everybody knew English here, but I feel like the people that I was around just didn't really get me. Until one day, I had to move to another place, which was New Jersey. I loved it there so much. I thought that place was so beautiful, uh, it was so cold. It just felt different. I feel like Miami was so so different from New Jersey. Miami is so tropical and everybody relatively speaks Spanish. And in New Jersey nobody understood what I was saying, like at all. Because I didn't really know English and the little that I knew, I just couldn't speak it. I just knew how to write it. So once again, I was very very sad. <laughs> couldn't make any friends and once again, I thought my life was over. Quickly after, I had to move again to North Carolina. Now, I was very, very afraid of this place because the culture was just way different. But in this place, I was able to meet a lot of really, really nice friends. I was so happy with them. And I just spent one of the best memories of middle school ever with them. I thought my life finally made sense, but guess what, I had to move again, and this time I was going back to Miami. I just thought back about all those memories of them just being me to me, and I didn't really want to be there anymore. And I studied really really hard to try to pass this exam, so I could pass the, it's called like the ESOL test, which is basically where they teach you English as a second language. So all these people or those kids basically that are in this class don't know English that well, maybe. So if you pass that, then you get to be with everybody else. And I was so happy when I found out I passed. I still felt like I didn't fit in because even though I knew English, I never really spoke to anybody because I was so scared. I was scared that they would make fun of me, that they wouldn't understand my accent, which never went away. <laughs> Spoiler alert. And I just didn't know. I just didn't know how to fit in. But then this one day, <laughs> I met the nicest girl ever. 
at the time. She's no longer that nice. <laughs> just kidding. And she was just very different. I'm doing her curly hair because she had a lot of curly hair at the time. And she quickly became my best friend, which you guys will see later in another video. So we liked Twilight, <laughs> which was a thing at the time, which is funny enough how we met. We also liked music. We loved, what we loved? I think we loved Taylor Swift a lot at the time. I don't think she likes her that much anymore. I still do. Uh, we love Taylor Swift. We loved John Mayer. I don't know just spell his name like this. I don't know why I feel like I don't. Fuck, I really love his music. And what else did we love? Oh, we love Michael Rosa. I really hope you spell his name. I don't know why, so I can't remember how you spell his names. But yeah. All of that, and we would always just be together, be together in my little iPod, and everything was pretty nice. I wasn't really fitting in that much, but at that point, I was okay. <laughs> and little by little, I started meeting more people, so I was still pretty happy. I like school because school meant I got to see my friends. School also meant that I got to learn things. I've always been very into learning. I know, kind of weird. <laughs> Trust me, everybody told me that. And I met my other best friend there. So I should probably put on this. This is me. Oh, she's not great here. three are so different but we just get each other and I'm happy to say we're still friends almost 10 years later maybe I should have put nine I don't know why I put ten <laughs> almost during that time I also met somebody very important in my life which was my boyfriend Honestly, I should stop spicing up my drawings, but well, no, they're not gonna change. So I met my boyfriend. How do you draw a guy? I guess just like this, no? I guess I'm gonna put a little bit of hair. <laughs> so I met him, and I was crushing on him really hard from the first time we spoke. Actually, I don't know the first time we spoke, maybe the second time. The first time I was kind of confused. And even though we went to the same school, we didn't really talk there because you had and Gus was very, very shy. I didn't really talk to anybody. Also, I never really saw him in school. So, there's that. So, we didn't go to the same school, but we talked through Facebook. Yes, very shocking. So he messaged me on Facebook one day and we just never stopped talking. <laughs> and even though we've gone through definitely several ups and downs, because you know, we were really young when we met, we have always loved each other. And now we have made actually five years together. Officially there because we don't count the times in high school. <laughs> We've known each other for seven years. Each other. I don't know how important it is to type this one. You guys already heard me say. <laughs> oh, what a fail of a drama life. Anyways. There's that. So, friends, check. Boyfriend, kind of. <laughs> check. Sam was happy. But 
that that was not enough because Sam started experiencing something that she didn't know she had for a very long time. Sam had something called anxiety. And she didn't really know this for a very long time. But this was something that she had to deal with for her ever. I'm still dealing with it now, actually. But during this time, it was very, very tough because I was going through a lot of personal stuff with my family. I wasn't a resident from here yet because our approval hadn't gone through yet. So there was a lot of tension in my house because we were still something considered alien for the United States. And it felt like that was the longest time ever when we had to deal with those documents. I was just sending a lot of documents and just waiting. I had to take SATs. I had to apply to colleges. And I couldn't. I just had to wait. And I started having panic attacks. And I didn't know how to deal with it. I felt like I was just helpless. But I had amazing people who had my back and who were, you know, with me through it all. So I had my best friends. I had this guy who was amazing to me. <laughs> I wasn't alone, and for that, I am forever grateful. And then one day, we got terrible news from my family in Peru. My grandparents, well, this didn't happen at the same time, but my grandparents actually passed away. And that was the saddest I've ever been in my entire life. Seeing my mom go through so much pain of losing her parents was like the most terrible thing ever. She started suffering from depression. And every day is when she wouldn't even get out of bed. And I had to take care of myself and my brother. And she didn't know how to deal with it. I don't think anybody knows how to deal with stuff. And it was extra hard because she couldn't see them. She hadn't seen them for so long. So, she just didn't know what to do. We were very sad for a very long time. And when we thought we were getting over it or just a little bit better, we lost another member of our family, which was my aunt. And says time will heal and all those things but it just felt like we were never gonna heal but this time I actually was going to college and college what's well, not the easiest thing to do ever especially going to an art school I did not like any traditional school I didn't like any traditional life thing Yes, I was good in school, and you math, but I wanted to do art, and especially photography. I always loved photography so much, and I just wanted to go on and pursue it. So thanks to my beautiful mom, who pushed me to do it, I ended up going there. So quickly after I graduated, uh, I wasn't doing really well emotionally. Yes, I had a degree to say my name, a job, but I just didn't feel okay inside. I was sad, and it was very very hard for me. Um, I didn't really know what to do or how to deal with it. 
can I discover multiple outlets to feel better, I guess. I started listening to podcasts, which my son kind of silly. inspire me to give myself a chance and not letting anxiety control my life. I joined this Facebook group, which might sound kind of silly, but I met a lot of really, really amazing people from there. I started speaking up about the things that I believe in. I started having a little more in-depth conversations with myself about where I want to be in life. Working with my relationships, with just people, not just my romantic relationship. So I started talking to these girls on Facebook, I started giving compliments to people, I started listening to podcasts, I got more hooked on watching YouTube. Because this one wasn't that good of a deal, but I started working on my relationships and little by little. Also did something absolutely insane called <laughs> driving. I was terrified of driving. I couldn't even fathom the thought of doing it. And I ended up getting my license. I also started collecting things that I liked. sort of nonsense <laughs> that just made me happy and also I started doing something called bullet journal and this just really started to clear my mind and I'm not saying I don't have anxiety anymore but it's not the bad now it's a little smaller <laughs> and then one day I thought this girl just started her YouTube channel. Why don't I do the same? I've been putting it out for so long. And 2018, it's all about conquering my fears and the things holding me back. So why not add something else to it? So I created this YouTube channel. So who am I really? Did this video explain anything? <laughs> Other than a sad girl who is now a little bit happier and who didn't have friends who got her and now she does have some. If you want to find out more about who I am, you can continue to watch this channel, you can subscribe, you can expect to watch videos of my life, you can expect body journal ideas, nail polishes, I really really like nail polishes. There's a couple brands that I'm really excited that are launching soon. Well, with that, I will say goodbye. Oh wait, I forgot to mention. I have the most adorable doggy. Well, she does not look anything like this. Let's just put eyelashes so they can look better. She has a little beard. And she has... Years. Oh lord, this is terrible. She's much cuter than this, I promise. And she has changed my life. So I guess with that, I can say goodbye.